which I've used many, many times. And then you just go right over here. And there's actually two spots you can um, get into the safe spot. One is right here. And then you just wait. T will evade. And then the other one is right up top where I always like to go. And you always want to start the boss when you're doing this so that the mobs will go straight to the boss and not you. And I just hide. That would be a pat, but that's okay. I'll just wait for it. And I just use my bubbles again. Sometimes I loot these graves, sometimes not. They're not the greatest loot. It's garbage, but hey, everything counts, I guess, in the long run, so. man up and then I will AOE them down again hopefully sometimes they bug out and so then sometimes these guys don't come or sometimes the forest top guys won't come I don't know why that is but uh, it just doesn't always happen so that's okay I guess it happens so what I do is I start the boss first again with my good wand I AOE these guys. Hopefully it hit them long enough. And then I jump up and over. And here they come now. Yeah, I didn't hit them long enough. You can see they're still standing there. Count some more. So I'll just wait for them. Don't wait too early. Oh boy. Here they come again. 
I'm going to do the AOE level 1 rank. Just when you're doing the level 1 rank to, to get them rounded up. Because if you don't round them up, you can be in a little bit of troubles like I am right now. But as long as you don't freak out, you just take your time. And then you just keep doing the Mario jumping. One after the other. And then I freeze them. And then once they do that, and then I do the sweet spot. Here they are now. And they are getting hit two, three times, four times. And they will go down fast. And then I will jump. Oh, yeah, see, there's already one dead. The non-elite guys, they're, they'll die fast. And so there's one right there who's a non-elite guy. Uh, in fact, he should die in the next run here. And what I do... Sweet spot. The only bad thing is because, like, again, this is so mana dependent, right? That's why a lot of people only use, and I've done it, where I've only used level 1 rank. Only. And, yeah, it takes a little bit longer, I'm not going to lie. It takes a lot longer, but it's uh, more mana efficient, of course, because you're only using 272 mana compared to 700 and some, so... Um, and you can, again, you can still do it in the sweet spot and still hit them for three times usually, right? So, look at those numbers just pop. I love it. So what I'll do is I'll do a big one here. And then I'll wait for the sweet spot again. The Mario jumping is really the thing you got to work on. Because if you don't do that jump, if you miss it, you fall down. And if you see, if you would have watched the very beginning when I started this uh, stream, um, I screwed up big time. Like that first run I did, yeah, it was bad. Like I screwed up big time. Of course I didn't die. Uh, well, the very, very first time I did. And then I just resetted it, and then I did it again, but. And these guys are almost dead here. I'm just going to get them to come over here so I can alien them down over here so I can actually loot them. Because again, sometimes those loot, if they're on the hill, you don't get it. And then that's it. Yeah, done. And that was a good, uh, oh, well, I don't know how many bars good two bars anyways and that's how that run is done it's uh, pretty simple pretty easy once you have once you a you you understand the whole concept of where all the safe spots are and your mana like I got four 4k mana now but before I only had less than 3k and I would say start off with 3k mana because um, it helps it helps your mana your mana really helps having health helps too just so that if you do get hit for some r stupid reason then you're not gonna die as fast um, there was sometimes where I would just die instant because the, it's just you get hit and boom 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 you're done And then all the gold, all the gold is mine. And the odd stuff for greens, not very much, but that's okay. Um, I can probably loot that chest or the graveyard. And then I'm just going to, actually, yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll just hearth. And if that guy comes to me, not a big deal, because I can just go behind the safe spot, which is literally right behind this vase. 
Here it comes now. Do, 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 and you just hide right behind it. And it goes away. No, I'll just sort of show you there. There it goes. So, that's it. And I'm just going to hearth, and then I'll do it one more time. I'm going to actually sell the stuff. Um, see how much I get for selling almost all this stuff. So, Of course, you can see all those uh, mages going into it, so a lot of mages like to do it. In fact, there you go. Uh, let's refresh. There's 13 people in uh, Zulfarak, and only two of them are not mages. So that's telling you uh, this is a mage farm area. <laughs> and everybody's doing it, and I bet you. Only the ones that are grouped up are probably the lower bees. Maybe the 6D priest is running somebody through. That's funny. It's good.
And just so I can explain to tell you what's going on, I'm just doing another coffin run. Um, and I'm bypassing using the safe spots to get through most of these mobs. Um, yeah, and it's just a coffin ZG run. Hopefully it goes okay. You want to strap for these guys because if they hit you from behind and they will knock you off your mount. And there is a safe spot right here. You can just jump right up. I, or if you'd like, you can use this one up here, which is what I like to do. Just because it's no real preference. Um, I do like to mark these guys though. So I know whereabouts they are. Easier to find later on, just in case they do come after me. Now what you want to do is you want to put all your buffs on, for your shields anyways. You want to start the boss, because if you start the boss, then the mobs, when you open the graves, will go to the boss first. And then you click all these graves, you loot some of them, and then hide behind this vase here. You hide behind the vase, you're good. They will reset. It's just a matter of time. And then I reapply my shields again. And then I go for round two. Whoops. Yeah. Just try that again in a minute. There we go. And I'll eat now, actually, before I go back out there. <laughs> yeah, but it's not very fun to do. Not very. Here we go. Hey, we'll rebuff you again. Take all these. I'm just going as fast as I can to hit them, freeze them, and jump up. This time I did get the far one, so sometimes I don't always get them. Sometimes I skip this one just because. It's uh, not it's one mob, right? Not a big deal. And then what I will do is I will get these ones here. And I'll just wait for this pat to go by. Just put the shields up again. There we go. Now we climb up his face up to the top, and then what you want to do is jump to the side. And then what I do is I rebuff myself with uh, mage armor for my mana regen. I use uh, amplified magic because none of them are actual casters. Um, and then you get onto your mount, and you have to just jump up into the corner. Once you're up in the corner, then you can just go to the side of the corner. I like to mana up. I make sure I have all my mana gems because you will be using them more than once, if not once. I like to have mana pots also, just in case. Health pots are always good. <laughs> you never know um, if you screw up or not. And then what I like to do is I will start it up after I'm at full mana. I'll just wand them, and then level 1 rank or level 1 blizzard. And I'll just let it hit them for a minute, just to make sure it does hit. And then I go behind him. And then I will come over here, and they should all be coming around the corner.
And all I'm doing is level 1 rank spells just to group them up, pull them down together. Hopefully these other guys will come here. I don't know why those ones didn't, but I'll try and get them in a minute. And then the skeletons I'm not worried about. Don't have to worry about them. They'll just disappear. They don't do anything really. And then I'll just jump over and get these guys to come too. And they're not coming for some reason. It's okay. Sometimes they come, sometimes they won't. Hoping they'll come this time. Oh, yep, yeah, here they come now. That's good. So now I can just group them up all together again. I'm going to try and grab those other far guys again too here. Let's see if they'll come. Yeah, they're good. They're coming now too, so I'll slow these guys down. I'm probably wasting a little bit more mana than I should have. Um, I probably shouldn't have had to have done all that, but that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, I'm not too worried. I'm going to use a big AoE when they go up because this is where they call it the sweet spot because they go up and then they come have to come back down and then back up. So this is what they call the sweet spot. And you can hit them for twice, three times as much damage because they're just sitting there. Um, it's just when those other guys that don't get hit they get through it a little bit faster. I am going to use a mana gem just to slow them down, get more a little bit more mana here too. Because there is a fair amount, a lot of guys, but as you can see, the non-elites are already dying now. They will continue to die. There you go, there's another one. And then I'll do the sweet spot right now. As you can see, I'm hitting some of them, some of them not, some of them yes. I will continue just to AoE. This is, again, rank 1 spells. This is, the, unless I'm doing my big ones, and you can tell by the damage, they're different damage. But all I'm doing is I'm just slowing them down, rank 1 spells. I will do it again for rank 1s on the other side once I jump over. And I'm going to jump over now. The Mario jumping is probably the hardest part in this whole thing. Um, if you screw up, you can always recover. You don't have to freak out. You can recover. That's not a big issue. Um, again, see there's that sweet spot. And they're hitting two, three times here. That's exactly what you want. And then what I'll do is once they come in a little bit closer, uh, sometimes I take my time and then I'll just evocate. And I like to have the full evocate just to get 100% mana. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then I jump over. And then what I'll do is I'll do the big spells. So here's level one again. And then big ones right here. Because that will really kill them down right now. And then I'll do it again. One more time for good measures. Now they're getting a little too close. I don't like that, so I'm going to jump. If I were to fall down on this side when they're over here, that's okay. Because it takes them, they have to go all the way back and then around. So if you were, if you're about to die on this side, just drop down. It's it's not a big deal because the time they come and get you, they won't. Because you can get back up the hill, go onto the ledge, and then you're fine. And but and this is where I hate because I hate killing them on the hill because if you kill them on the hill you don't get the loot. Um, just FYI, see there they are there. If they die over there, perfect. That's what you want. I'm running out of mana again, so I'll just do that. They should almost all die here. Yes, there they are. And there you go. That is a ZF solo mage run at level 49. And of course, I'll do it again. I'll try and get these other guys just because I'm, I'm so close to leveling. So 
and I'm getting about 500 per kill and so uh, fully rested I was getting about a thousand uh, per kill give or take um, yeah give or take Next run, I'll do one more run here, and what I'll do is I'll time it uh, from front to beginning just to show people how long it actually does take to uh, do it. Because it's not very long. To kill the guys, it only takes about seven minutes, give or take. It's the run through and trying to do, trying to, trying to hide from everything, right? Um, but the actual killing the guys. Even with the level 1 rank spells, uh, it's only 7 minutes, really, give or take. And at first I was like, oh, because I was level 44 when I first did this, and level 1 rank spells, and I was like, what? And uh, uh, if you have about 3k mana, you're okay. You will have to do a little bit more jumping around, back and forth just to try and regen some of that mana back a little bit just so you can get enough but that's okay because you just let them come and then jump and then you get to come and then you jump but I'm gonna try and get these guys here and they are gonna come good the non-elite guy will be easy to kill and I'll show you what I mean by jumping back and forth because I do not have my evil cake and you almost need your evil cake the whole time or at least for these fights so um, I'll do it in the sweet spot here first just to slow them up round them up hopefully they will all come which they are I only need mind you only need what one kill so that one kill will give me should level me so I might be able to just uh, be able to blast them with a big hill, you know, a big hit here, big blizzard. Which I'll do right here. And then I'll do the sweet spot. Well, I'm, I like to slow them right about here. Because if you slow them down right about there, then you can get sort of set up for your big big one which is right there and you just want it right on the side because they always come down I always had a hard time trying to figure out whereabouts it was but it's it's really right there now because there's not this many guys I could probably uh, frost cone them frost bowl them and not have to worry too much about it if they break free then I'll be a little bit more worried but down a little bit
because you know I screwed up there big time. But again, I fell down. It's okay because they're still not even going to come close to me. I just run up, jump over. I'll see where they are. They're not even close to me. But I, what I will do is I'll just wait till they get over a little bit and then I will line myself up, jump over, and restart again. So level one. Blizzard, which should kill some of them right there. Most of them. And then I'll do it again over here. And this should kill them all here, actually. And if I blast for the win. Oh, I've got some blues. Awesome. We are dropped there. Nice level 39 stuff. Priest. And there we go. That will be it for my runs. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this.